Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devi and you are watching Just Devi Marie. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my foolproof wash and go. So if you guys want to see a simple and easy wash and go, something that never fail me yet, stay tuned. Also, give me a huge like if, been, if you've been enjoying my content so far. Also, I want to remind you to check out the previous video on my channel. Also, check out the playlist that I have listed on my channel too, so you can find something that's fun and interesting to you. Also, I want to remind you guys to check out my other channel called Yardmint. And if you're watching Just Devi Marie today, I want you to leave the emoji with the girl washing her hair in the comments to let me know that you're rocking with me for this episode. All right, so let's get right into the video. So first, um, I wanted to start off by showing you the products that I use. These products I've been using for a very long time and therefore I know that they work. So this wash and go that I'll be doing is um, a wash and go that has not failed me. Something else I can definitely rely on whenever I'm doing my hair or if I'm going to a special occasion, which I'm not, because I mean, we locked up in the house, in the house board. So, um, I'm going to show you these products. Some of them you would have probably noticed from my faves products. Um, they're still basically the same products, but uh, with the exception of one, I believe, that probably wouldn't have been in that list of faves. Also, I will link my favorite products in the cards and in the description below so you guys can check out my natural hair faves. So, the first product um, is going to be Blue Magic Coconut Oil. I've been using this since I've been in high school. Um, it just... I don't know my hair is high porosity and so therefore I find that a lot of thicker products uh, do better in my hair now if you've been watching me for a while you know I only style my hair once for a week so whenever I wash it is when I style it and that style lasts me for the entire week until I'm ready to wash again so this definitely helps to keep moisture in my hair my hair doesn't dry out uh, quickly like high porosity hair does, which is why I use like thick products like this. The next product is a product that I want to know some of love from long time and it's the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Hydrating Curl Cream. This product, I love this product. This product don't fail me none at all. Um, and so this is what I'll be using as my um, moisturizer, I guess you could say. Finally, I'm going to be using my favorite gel, which is the Eco Style in crystal now my wet line which i used to use a lot on here has finished thank god over it over it over it over it so yeah that's what those are the three products i'll be using i do also have a bottle with some water down detangling leave-in conditioner which i don't really like i'm just using it to kind of wet my hair because when i show you what my hair is looking like under this you guys will you guys will understand so i have this um to add to add some water and some moisture back to my hair and then also I have my section clips to assist me as well now I did wash my hair a couple days ago um, it's been a while so I, ha I have had them in some big twists <laughs> so we're gonna see what they look like in a second I actually also added some leave-in conditioner and twisted my hair too so hopefully my hair is not super dry and leave-in conditioner that I use was Cantu leave-in the one that everybody hates but yeah that's what i used as my leave-in and of course you know i have my little ear washing shirt my big t-shirt so <laughs> this is what my hair looks like i know it looks probably a lot i'm like really frizzy up here and that's just normal my hair usually gets really frizzy so I wanted to say for my foolproof wash and go you can do it on freshly washed hair that's damp and whatever but you can also do it on hair that's like twisted up for a little while and I think this really helps because sometimes wash days can get really overwhelming and so therefore splitting up your wash and style day style wash and style into two days sometimes can help you not feel so overwhelmed that's if you don't have anywhere going which I mean we really usually don't have anywhere going during this rona panoramic whatever so yes yeah, so i have it in four twists and the four twists will also help me because they're already in sections so i know that i'm going to be working in the same four sections as 
the twists are in for. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to catch up what I'm not using. I like to start from the back, so I'm going to start with this twist here. I know my hair looks really terrible, guys, but trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look good. It's really going to look good. And the reason why I really call this my foolproof wash and go is because I literally can um, count on it to look good the entire week you know usually or sometimes when i use maybe another product or i don't use these exact products in my hair to do a wash and go sometimes by midweek like maybe about wednesday or thursday my hair starts to really look really dry and stuff it doesn't still look moisturized and juicy but with this one like my hair looks juicy and moisturized for the entire time so i'm just gonna take down this twist all right um and what I think I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, so this is one section since I um, separated the twist. So this will be one section and this will be another section. So I'm just going to uh, clip this out of the way also so it doesn't get in my way. And I'm going to start with this. Now, um, I'm not really uh, focused or hung up on definition when it comes down to this twist. But, you know, my hair still does feel moisturized even though it does have the... Um, leaving in there and it's been a couple days since I washed it and just left it but it, it doesn't feel like super dry or anything like that but of course I know that in order to get my products to melt into my hair and disperse into the hair how I want it to I know that I would have to wet it which is why I told you that I have this leave-in conditioner here I'm just opening up all my products to make it easy for me so I'm gonna start by just resaturating the hair with this and I don't really like this as a spray bottle either just because you have to spray so much just to get a little out of it so I'm just re-wetting the hair not gonna make it like super super wet but just enough um, and then I'm just kind of gonna kind of just pull the water just kind of make it get into my hair a little bit feel if I need to put a little bit more and I will I will need to put more so, yeah, I'm just working that in, working the product in. And then the first thing I'm going to use is the Hydrating Curling Cream from Cream of Nature. I'm not going to use a whole lot of this because this is a really small section to me, so I'm going to be using this much. I'm going to rub it together in my hands and I'm just going to work that in. Now, guys, I want to tell you that my hair is high porosity high porosity means that it absorbs product pretty easily right so my hair is highly porous so it absorbs product pretty easily so when you're watching me doing any styling videos on my channel you're gonna notice that you're not gonna see like a lot of um, whiteness or stuff like that on my hair because my hair literally drinks up products and that's totally opposite to what I feel like maybe a lot of naturals have has which is like low porosity hair so you usually see like you know the product taking a while to absorb into the hair but for me that's not usually the case which is why I say I have to use a lot of thick products like I don't mind using thick products because my ear need it it literally drinks up the product so quickly so after I've applied that in my hair I think I want to apply just a little bit more on the ends right and also the second part of the whole high porosity thing is that not only does it absorb product very quickly because it is very porous but it also loses moisture very quickly also because it is very porous so i'm gonna use a little bit of my um blue magic hair and just coat the hair also i guess some people say they use this as a sealant but this just adds a, a lot more shine and it makes my hair feel a lot softer um, and I am going to use a gel which can be drying at, drying at times so as I say if my hair is easy to lose moisture then I need to load it up <laughs> with some really thick and moisturizing products as I said this is really good for me because my hair is high porosity so if your hair is low porosity this may not necessarily work for you um, I'm just adding a little bit more of the hair oil and then yeah so if you're low porosity this might not work for you but as you guys can probably see like my hair is already starting to define and then i'm just gonna add some gel after that 
and the gel just helps to just keep everything in place it helps to give me that good hold um, that I can get for the entire week um, it helps to combat the frizz and it just sets your style um, I don't think I'm yet to find a product that I can use without having to use a gel mind you I don't really try a whole lot of products I usually tend to just stick to what I know works for me so yeah this is the first section this is the first section and the good thing with this kind of styling to meaning doing it on hair that has been washed like days before or a day before is that it's not so drippy drippy and wetty wetty and messy messy and obviously it's gonna take a lot quicker time it's gonna take a shorter time I should say to dry than if I was working on like freshly washed like dripping hair so this is what the first section looks like and I don't have a mirror as you guys know already so yeah I'm gonna take down the other section of that twist sometimes I do like to clip the hair that I've already worked on all the way so I don't get confused especially now that I'm not using a mirror so I'm basically going to repeat um, the same steps I'm gonna do it on this other section right and then I'm kind of going to zoom through so I'm just gonna show you again what I do already I don't know if that helps um, my hair to be more defined I don't know if that makes any sense I don't know if you guys um, understand or have experience what I'm talking about but I don't know something about having your hair in twist and then styling it as a wash and go I don't know it just makes the style look a lot more defined and last a lot longer this is not gonna take me any time to finish either become a hair done section out already my hair is already detangled and all that so this not going to take me no time to just zoom through but yeah that that's it that's it full proof wash and go full proof so i'm just gonna speed up and do the rest of the sections then come back to you when i've completed all the sections <music> so I have completed all of my hair with all of the products and this is what it looks like so it's very defined and it's not dripping wet which I like which means that it's gonna dry quickly I am for the purpose of this video going to just blow dry it and stretch it and so with the final results I also turned um, my hair from a side um, uh, from a middle part to a side part I don't know why but I've been feeling side parts a lot recently so I did go ahead and turn it into a side part. So I'm gonna dry it off camera 
and stretch it off camera and you guys will see the final look okay you guys I am back I have blow dried my hair and I have stretched it and these are the final results I am not surprised I expected it to turn out good um also if you guys want to see how i stretch my natural hair i do have a video up on my channel of that so i leave it in the cards and in the description so you guys can check it out if you are wondering but these are my results guys i think it looks really good i could leave the house right now and be like yeah my hair looks boss i should note though that i usually do not stretch my hair on the first day just because it lasts a lot longer when i kind of let it kind of stretch out and get fluffier on its own but either way it's still have a last long it's very moisturized um it's not um i don't know it's not dry it's not like frizzy it just looks really good it looks really good and i'm very 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 pleased with these results i'm actually really happy that i was able to find a routine and find a set of products that really work for me especially when you are low on time or if you are low on time or Whatever it is, sometimes you don't feel like spending the whole entire day doing your hair. I feel like this is a very good option for me. So yeah, I love it. I love the results. You guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments about my hair. Let me just see if I can give you guys like a little view of the hair. So this is what it looks like from this angle. And this angle. I want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Just Devi Marie. I want to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't, if you've made it this far into the video. Just give me a little like, give me a little like and check out the other videos that I have on my channel including the playlist that I've created for you guys. Remember to check out my other channel called Yardmans and if you're rocking with me for this video today, remember to leave the hair washing emoji in the comments to let me know that you are watching. I want to thank you so much for all the love and support. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.